Hello, Gabe Heller here again with yet another Xbox Live Indie Arcade Spotlight. This one uh, is on a game called Hedge Wizard, um, which is a reasonably interesting uh, puzzle game. Let's go ahead and play. Once upon a time, there was a love so great that nothing could stand in its way. It was a love this guy's a little smarmy, I find. To become a searching wanderer, a hedge wizard. It is the truest love that shall ever grace this earth. The love of a wizard for his gold. <laughs> the world is a dangerous place. Defenseless villagers are threatened by floods, fire, armies of zombies, and poor civic planning. You can help them, and in exchange, they can bring you gold. I like the copy, gold though. You can it's never funny. get yourself. Gold that is farther than an arm's reach from your recliner. Good morning, Master. Throwing that spell book at my head appears to have paused time. Unpause time by pressing start. So, one thing that happens here is that uh, not much of this is explained to begin with. Um, you can kind of see it Local happening, but there, it, it happens very quietly with no I'm noises, sure it's no kind of sneakily. So they you notice that there are rain clouds there, and they are filling the rivers. The rivers are filling up. We can't leave that gold just lying around. Send your peasant lad over and have him bring. And you the just carry the gold to the tower. Your guy moves excruciatingly slowly too, but I suppose if he moved faster, then this stuff would have to happen faster too. Look, there's some gold over there. You'd better move your peasant over to get it. This place is beautiful. I'd love to stay here. But I bet that when you said you'd protect the village forever, you probably just meant... So yeah, if you just gold. race straight for the gold, you can't get to it because that river fills up too soon. These are forest fires. Um, you can walk through forests can, and through burned really forests, but not through forests that are currently on fire. Cast it with the left trigger. I had to play it a couple times to figure this out, but since I figured it out, I'm explaining it to you. Yes, I can go backwards in time. It turns out you don't need to go backwards in time because these are bridges. Um, I suppose it should have been obvious to me, but I played this level a couple times. So like, I can't get through this water here. There's a bridge right here. That's what that is. There we go. You have to actually stand on the entrance. You got the gold. Hello again, Master. The locals here have asked you to protect them from earthquakes, which you can't actually do. But you can cause them, and that sounds like fun. Collect an earth spell by moving your peasant onto it. I'm not going to use it on the village. That's a joke. And turn raging if you want to actually get at these land. things, you have to use it Unlike around your here. Time spell, you can only cast an earth spell once for each scroll you collect. There we go. To cast a spell, move your it's wand. It's a little annoying that you have to use two different sticks button. to control the wand and the, the other thing. Right. Try casting it on the village right uh, it now. Makes it hard to do well, both at once. Well, that and now there's gravel in all sorts of interesting places. If there you find you've made a mistake, not that you ever would, you can go back in time. That's about it. I can't wait for that gold, Master. At this point, you have a choice. So just to show it off, you can just use it on water like so. And there's a bridge here, so you're not actually in a hurry on this level. This level, Holy you may be in a bit master. of a hurry. I think this village is in actual danger. If the fires reach the village, the peasant will probably not bring you the gold. So let's save that village, at least long enough to collect your payment. Rain spells create floods, which can block or put out fires. Now maybe if I place the, the rain lower, them, making a great natural barrier. I'd be an okay. With all this water, try shape? to avoid flooding the village. Or I don't town. know. I do sleep let's, in the Yeah, let's go back in time and see if we can place the water lower. Okay. Like here? Of course, now I have to wait for the forest to burn down before we can go through it. And, um, no, it doesn't look like there is, in fact, any way to actually save the village, except maybe place the rain cloud right on the village. Maybe right in the middle of the fire, since it flows outward rather than just downward. I don't know. In any case, 
Oh, it says I protected the village. First time I played this, it says I didn't protect the village. But as you can see, the village was almost on fire anyway. The way of water. Hmm. Rain makes water. The more rain you have, the faster the water will expand. It's somewhat like wizard with disaster. Okay, so what with if we wizard, put the disaster some spread here? Slowly. If there were two or three, well, I'm just glad you don't okay, have Okay, and then there's another rain spell over here. here. The part about the water, I mean. Gotta wait the for these bushes part, well, to burn first, I which I suppose that. is built in time limit. Your present person can't actually die, so that's good, I guess. Uh, here, maybe? You have to go under the river. Oh, sorry, I have to get to the gold first. That's right. Looks like I might be out of time on this one. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So we go back in time. Apparently I just didn't place the, the spells in the right place. So where do I want to place it? Right on top of this? By the time you've got this one, I don't know that there's anywhere else you can really help at all. Let's try there. I should be able to get through to the gold. And, I mean, the, the fire is still going to get around to the village to the north, isn't it? Or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I actually managed to save the village this time. Get through this way. Nope. I can walk in the water? Not quite. I guess I'm kind of in the water. Okay, there we go. That oh, looks like the, it's still going to make it via... Oh no, that river's blocking it. Okay, so I guess we're good. We actually managed to save the village. Not that that's apparently a priority. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's as far as you can get. Um... And I suppose that took me about seven minutes to play, and I played it before, and it took me longer before because I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on, because the the smarmy guy doesn't tell you all that you really need to know. Um, but there it is. That's uh, that's the kind of game Hedge Wizard is, and apparently there are quite a few more levels that you get if you buy the actual game, more than uh, you can see on this screen, more than I can actually get to. But there you go. Yeah. So it's a puzzle game. Um, it's a, it's kind of hard. Uh, you don't have a lot of time to think because you're always moving. Um, well, but you can pause time, I guess. Maybe if I made more use of that, I'd do better.